clockwise direction. So for this, let's assume that G has no augmenting paths. So let's proceed by contradiction and assume that there is a matching M prime that is larger than M. So given this assumption, we then build the graph H that has the same vertices as G, but the edges are the edges of the graph that are exactly in one of M or M prime. So let's make some observations about this graph. So the first one is that since it's built from the matchings M and M prime, H only has vertices of degree one or two. So therefore, this graph consists of paths and cycles, things like this. So for example, um, this path means that every uh, this next edge is neither in M or M prime, and same for, for the other endpoints. Now, also, you cannot have cycles of odd length, because if you have, say, a triangle, then each edge is in exactly one of M or M prime. So say that this edge belongs to M, then this one below has to belong to M prime, but then we have a problem here, because if this belongs to M or M prime, it's going to violate the condition of being a matching. In a matching, um, no two edges can be incident uh, to the same vertex. Okay, so this doesn't occur. So you don't have odd cycles. Okay, and when you have an even cycle like this, say this hexagon, then half the edges of that hexagon are, are, are going to be in, in, in M prime and the other half are going to be in M. Okay? And then you can have paths of um, even length uh, or, 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 or you might have a path of odd length. Now, since M, is, M prime is larger than M, H cannot just consist of even, of even cycles and even paths because each of them, those would have the same number of edges of M as in M prime. So that means that there must be, um, we must have an odd cycle such that the first and last vertex edge belong to M prime. So something like this, and then it all would alternate. Okay. But then what sort of path is this with respect to M? Well, this is a path that alternates between edges that are not in M and that are in M, the blue ones, such that the first and last um, edge, uh, so the first and last vertex are unsaturated. So this is an M augmenting path. And that's a contradiction because we assumed that G had no M augmenting paths. Okay, and this uh, finishes the proof because uh, that means that M was actually a maximum matching.